Hey guys, welcome to the channel, as you see in the thumbnail what if, Issei had solo leveling part 1. Before I start, please do support for more awesome content, and subscribe my channel and like this video. Let's start this video. I say run run away a woman's boy screamed. She looked at that thing that was standing in front of her, the thing that killed her husband, but she was cut off by a spear of light impaling her in the stomach. Well boy, it seems like you will be joining your parents as well. But I'll make sure that you remember my name. Make sure that you never forget my name, and that name is Kakabiel. The man said, standing tall with two black feathery wings on his back. The man then raised his sword in the air in preparation to strike him down. Hey kid, we have no time. Raise your left arm over your head now. Issei didn't know who was talking to him, but he did what he was told as he feared for his life. Boost. As Kakabiel brought his sword down he was surprised that a light blinded him, and something caused his sword to bounce off his target. The four sent Issei flying, his back smashing into a nearby wall. As he and Kakabiel regained focus they both looked at the red gauntlet on the boy's arm. I was surprised for a moment, but it's just a twice critical, how disappointing things could have gotten interesting. Kakabiel slowly walked over to Issei and grabbed him by his neck and held him in the air. Boost. Do you think that a measly twice critical can even compare to me? Dragon Booster. Boost. With all of his remaining strength Issei bought his fist and punched the monster in front of him right in the face. This caused him to let go of Issei and for him to be pushed back a few feet. The Kabiel held his hand to his nose that was gushing blood before laughing maniacally. The ha 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 what a surprise it wasn't a twice critical, but one of the 13 longinus. Issei was breathing heavily as it felt like his life force was getting sapped from each boost he did, but he didn't want to die, so he willed one more. Boost. The Kabiel glared at the boy before saying even if you power up like this, a kid like you will never stand a chance against me, besides I know you're at your limit as we speak. And just like that, a voice boomed out in nothing but anger, disdain, and sadness. Reset. Sorry kid Issei heard in his head. The Kabiel slowly walked over to the boy and held his sword for a final strike. It's over for you boy maybe you would have grown to be powerful, but unfortunately you crossed paths with me. Now die. The last thing Issei felt was the sword piercing his hand into his heart. As Kakabiel walked out of the door and flew away into the night sky, a bright light shone from Issei's corpse before engulfing him completely. Issei's paw, it's cold and my body is numb. I can remember getting stabbed, yet I don't feel any pain. Awaken young one, I hear a voice so deep that it feels like it could shake the foundation of earth. I'm surprised I could even understand it. Open your eyes and cast your gaze on me. All I remember is the life draining from my father's eyes as blood gushes from his mouth like a fountain. The screams of my mother as a spear of light pierced through her stomach, her last words pleading for my safety, still screams in my mind and is driving me to the point of insanity. The laughter of the that thing with wings of an angel and the aurora of the devil himself. The sheer amount of bloodlust that settled in the house suffocated me like a poisonous fog. Perhaps do you fear me? Fear ha is exactly what I'm feeling now. The fear I felt when he looked me in the eyes and smiled at me. The fear when he raised his sword to take my life but for some reason I feel like whatever is talking to me now is way more frightening thought. Do you want power? Power? Do you want a second chance of being among the living? A second chance? Do you want to protect the ones you love? An image of my dead parents filled my mindies, I would do anything to protect the ones I love. No matter the cost or the struggle I would do everything possible to avenge my parents. Do you want to live your dream? How could I forget? I never got laid or touched a glorious pair of how am I going to be the harem king if I die now. It wouldn't be possible. Then open your eyes, awaken, black. As far as the eye can see, nothing but an endless void. Am I dreaming? Is this the afterlife? I was never a religious person, but after what I've just been through anything is possible I guess. There are no boobs in the area. How disappointing. Haha what an interesting fellow I have here, the voice from before. I hear it, but I can't see whom it belongs to. It honestly sounds like it's coming from every direction making it impossible to pinpoint. I am here right in front of you. Ah what the I yell is I suddenly see a massive figure move from the darkness. It moved so fluently like it was the darkness itself. It was like reality was shifting just to fit this monstrosity in front of me. Monstrosity? You hurt me kid. I looked below me and saw an eye. The thing is the eye is massive. You know I think massive is an understatement when the pupil alone looked as big as Ing Mount Everest. With a massive flap of its wings it pushed itself back and then flew up far enough just so I could see its head as it towered over me, so I took the time to observe its features. It looked like a European dragon with a single row of jagged spikes running down its head. The eyes were weird and so creepy, yet it was so cool to look at. The eyes as a whole were black, but you could see massive red veins that refused to cross each other, carrying blood, well I guess blood, to an iris, which is in the shape of a thick red ring. The iris then carried to a large red pupil, which had a black spot in the center, that felt like it was digging deep into my very existence. I've never felt so insignificant in my life. 
WH who are you and where am I? Duty don't eat me. I barely choked out. He looked at me or at least I think he is. Why would I eat you? I wouldn't bring a human to this place just for consumption, as the amount of energy it would take to eat, you wouldn't be greater than the energy you could provide. But I'm not here to kill, I'm here to talk. The dragon recompassed himself or at least it felt like it. Now where are my manners I should introduce myself. Even though I am truly nameless you can call me Entropy, Issei Hyodo. Now you must be wondering where you're at currently, and let me say this now, you are not dead yet. After you were stabbed I teleported you to the outskirts of the universe where there is nothingness. I simply call this place Nusquam. Now that you know where you are, let's talk about how you got here. I know you have many questions, do you? Yes. What was that thing, Kakabiel, that killed me and my parents? I shouted out in rage desperately hoping for an answer to what caused me so much pain and suffering. That my boy was a fallen angel the dragon hissed out in disgust. So wait, things like gods, demons, angels and all the other mythologies actually exist, that can't be right. No way things like gods from books that we used to laugh at for a lot of reasons. They wore weird clothes, sometimes no clothes, did weird things, most had small, or at least that's the story pictures and statues tell. There is no way they existed right. But now that I remember what happened to me and looking at the dragon in front of me, I guess I have no other choice than to accept it. I know this is a lot to take in, so make yourself comfortable. I'm going to explain everything. First let's start with how the universe was made. Is this fine? The beginning huh, sure go ahead. He surely had my full attention. He paused for a bit like he was collecting his words. I wonder what he is going to say. Will the answer be so complicated that my small human brain couldn't possibly handle it, and my brain is going to. It all started when I got stuck in a dense glob of energy. What? Two minutes later. I got bored so I decided to throw the moon at the earth. Huh? Three minutes later. So gods were a thing that popped up. I don't know how they really came about as I was nowhere near earth at the time, so maybe they were created by another primordial being, or something like that I don't really care. Let me just tell you this now. I hate. Gods. They are so unreasonable and egotistical it's not even funny. Most of them feed off the faith of the people they worship and give little to nothing in return to the humans. Hell sometimes they even take things away or just ruin things for the dumbest reasons. Let's not forget that they all think that they are perfect. Honestly I would have killed most of them if I didn't wander the universe. Like you know the feeling when you see an annoying kid at a grocery store, but you ignore them because it's not your kid and you won't stick around long enough that dealing with them isn't advantageous to you. Imagine that, but it's every couple hundred years, ten minutes later. So the three factions that you need to know about are the angels, fallen angels, and devils. The best way to explain is that fallen angels are angels that fell from grace, and now all they do is have constant thought the devils are like fallen angels, but less crazed and more greedy and prideful. The angels are actually chill. The angels in fact seem to be the only mythology on earth that have their damn priorities straight. God from the Bible did seem like a good guy. Yeah he was pretty cool. Five minutes later, so there were these two dragons that were fighting so hard and kicking so much ass, that the three factions had to stop their war in order to deal with them. At the end God sealed himself and the dragons into two separate sacred gears, the Longinus Divine Dividing whose owner is known as the White Dragon Emperor, and the Boosted Gear whose owner is known as the Red Dragon Emperor, and that Red Dragon Emperor is you boy, huh? I'm the Red Dragon Emperor. Do you remember that voice and the gauntlet that helped you try to fight off the crow? Well that is Drag, the dragon sealed in the gear, I have to thank him once you return. Suddenly my vision started to brighten. Our time is up so listen to me. You will wake up in your room the next morning. Your parents will no longer be there as I have removed them from this existence, and the fallen angel won't be around as he is long gone. You don't have to worry about any other supernatural snooping around your house, as I have set up a defensive barrier that will block all magic energy you emit passively. Once you are awake you will be able to talk to Drake again, but don't worry I will be there as well. I have chosen you after all and together we will start your new journey of power and domination. Yes. This is the second chance I've been looking for. It will pain me when I wake up not to see my parents home, but for now I need to sleep. I can't afford to gloom around all day and stay weak forever. Now I need to get stronger to protect the people I will love and to begin my journey to be a harem king. Normal Pav. The bright light surrounded Issei as he threw himself off the bed. He turned around to see it covered in sweat. Was that a dream? Nope. Huh? Issei you are alive. How is this possible? I was in the plane as if I was waiting for a new host, then there was a light, and I'm back here with you. That would be because of me, Drake. Who are you? I could go by many names that I've been called for hundreds of years. The Dragon of Death, Destruction, and Nightmares if the legends I recall are correct. Regardless, those titles are useless to me. You however can call me Entropy. I'm impossible you are supposed to be a myth. Are you telling me that the dragon that makes Great Red and the Ouroboros dragon look like mere insects is actually real? It can't be. 
I assure you, I am very real, and I am the reason why your host is alive in the first place. We will I am forever grateful that you have given Issei a second chance, but you could imagine how I would doubt your existence. I wonder how if I am not mistaken I have seen you before during one of my passes of Earth. Did I scare you guys that much? How could we not be frightened? To see a dragon the size of Jupiter just appear and disappear without a trace is the only thing that made gods shit their pants. I'm sorry to interrupt, but what do we do now? Issei says in a wondering tone. If my assumptions are correct then I'm pretty sure I'm too weak to be able to use both of you guys power willy nilly, so how am I going to get stronger? And he is correct that he doesn't have the power to do basic things. Now that he thinks about it, he was barely able to manage drag for a few seconds at his max, so how could he go up against another supernatural being? I've already got that covered, but first I need you to call upon me on your right arm. You've already done it with the boosted gear so do the same thing, but focus it on your right arm and Issei did what he was told. He could feel the energy flow throughout his whole body. It felt dark yet soothing at the same time, he could feel the power, yet it wasn't frightening like when he first met Entropy, it now felt like it was part of him. Now all he has to do is focus it, so he started to concentrate, and after a few seconds he could feel it settle in his arm. But the sudden flash of light he could feel something heavy on his arm. After the light faded he got a good look at it. It was a gauntlet like the boosted gear, except it was all black. The claws were far sharper, the scales that acted as armor were slightly more flexible as they weren't as bulky as his other sacred gear, and there were spikes that started from his wrist ran along the top like a dragon's back. Instead of an emerald colored gem it was a black diamond with red, blue, and purple energy swirling within it. On his palm were lines that looked like computer circuits that started from the center of his hand, leading to each armored finger. The lines had a golden shade to them, and it looked like it kept a steady flow of power to the fingers themselves. He quickly learned that depending on the action he was doing the shade of gold would change accordingly. As he was moving his hand and flexing his fingers, he watched in fascination as the lines turned to a lighter or darker shade of gold. A sacred gear. Entropy has now been activated, systems activating, loading stats, loading levels, loading skills, loading title, startup complete, welcome player, wow, interesting, this right here will help you throughout your journey, think of it like a game, an RPG to be specific, that will be very helpful from now on. First let's look at your stats. Just think about it or say it and it'll appear. Okay show me stats. Loading stats, name, Issei Hayoto, level, 1, title, Red Dragon Emperor, Op I Love 42069, Current Title, HP, 500 five hundredths, MP, 100 one hundredths, STR, 10, STA, 15, F, 10, Agle, 12, Int, 9, Sen 5, Fatigue 0, Current Skills, Boost, Auto Update, On, Whoa. So with this he could view his growth with. I assume that auto update will automatically update my stats every time I look at them I guess if I wanted to compare exactly how much I grew, I would turn it off and update it manually mentally. Well he figured there were better things to do now than to ponder on that. The system has a level of autonomy that makes it easier to keep up with your growth, but ignore that. Your next lesson is the skill I'm giving you right now, you have learned the skill. Observe, observe. Use this to get information about your surroundings. Can be used on objects as well as other beings. Just say or think observe on any target you see and you will get information on the target. Because it is not active magic no MP is required, must be within visual range of the target in order for it to work. Perfect, now use your skill to get information on your boosted gear. Observe, boosted gear, unlocked forms. 2, hidden forms. 7, unlocked form number 1, boosted gear. Standard form, the gauntlet of the red dragon emperor that contains drag, the welsh dragon. The boosted gear grants its wielder incredible power, but can be overused, destroying the user's body from power overload and fatigue. Grants the skill boost. When active. See boost. For further details. Passively gives the user a dragon's aura in all forms and at all times even if not activated. Unlocked form number 2. Boosted gear. Twice critical form. Twice critical is a sacred gear that doubles the power of the user for a certain time. It is a common recurring dragon type sacred gear. Grants the skill boost. When active. Passively gives the user a dragon's aura, but only when activated and not as strong as the standard boosted gear. Twice critical form restricts the boost. Skill. See boost. For further details. Special ability. Underestimated. Because of being seen as weak, especially on a human, the boosted gear seen in twice critical form will increase the confidence and arrogance of enemies who are aware of the sacred gear. This will give you the upper hand if you use it wisely and in the correct situation. Side note. The stronger you are the stronger twice critical will become. Boost. Special to the twice critical and boosted gear, sacred gears. Active passive doubles the strength, speed, and stamina of the user. Current boost limit. 5 times. Restriction. 
cannot boost more than twice in twice critical form and only five times in standard boosted gear form. Duration of cumulative boosting. 10 seconds. I'm impressed, this is very detailed, and everything is correct, so cool. Issei exclaimed out loud as he looked at the hologram in front of him. So hey, is my life like a video game from now on, and can other people see this? Because it would be weird if other people could see what I'm seeing right now. Don't worry about that, your messages can only be seen by you and about your life being game the answer to that is kind of. Every aspect won't be like a game at all, but will play a huge role in your life, as the system that I have set in place will help guide you. For example, you can do quests, fight in dungeons, level up increase your stats, get rewards, and earn new titles. Now how will this be different from any other game? Well for context there is no shop and no looting system among other things. All in all you could live your normal life and you wouldn't notice it unless you were actively engaged with it. There will be more things to explain at another time, but for now let's start with your basic training, so here is your first quest. Wait before that I have another question. He said quickly as another question hit him. What will happen if my HP and MP reach zero? If your MP reaches zero then that means you will pass out from exhaustion, as for HP, as well as I have taken refuge as a newly made sacred gear my power still can't be contained safely. To put this into perspective imagine a nuclear bomb and the only thing stopping it from exploding is you being alive. So you could imagine if my energy was to be suddenly released in an uncontrolled poorly manifested form, it would cause you and everything within a 30 mile radius to be blasted off the face of the earth. This is my first time doing this, so I'm as clueless as you are so until I find a better way to manage my power, don't die and everything will be fine. Geez that's so reassuring so basically I'm a walking nuke. Well at least if he dies he knows he is taking the bastard that killed him along with him, but on the negative side, any ally he has alongside him will be toast. Hmm, <laughs> yeah that is a huge problem that they'll need to deal with later. Suddenly a hologram popped up in front of him pulling him from his thoughts. A system will help the player's growth. Quest incoming, a quest. Preparation day. Has arrived. Incomplete, push up 0 100. Incomplete, curl up 0 100. Incomplete, squat 0 100. Incomplete, run 0 2 kilometers. Must be completed by the end of the day, every day for 3 weeks. If not completed then there will be a penalty. Current penalty. Everyone in a 1 kilometer radius will be disappointed in you. Don't you guys think this is a bit too much for me to start off? And he definitely didn't like the sound of everyone being disappointed in him. Nonsense. Besides, we have all day. In fact, take the next couple of minutes to do your push-ups, then take your shower and start your day. Doing this for the next couple of weeks should increase your build substantially. I think you should listen to him, Issei. If you can get yourself in shape then you could call upon both of our power with less effort. Issei sat for a few minutes to take all the information in before letting out a loud sigh. He might as well get started now. So for the next excruciating 15 minutes he finally finished his 100 push-ups. He decided that now is a perfect time to take a hot shower to relax his aching muscles. He stepped out of his room into the hallway, only to get hit with a sudden realization and a painful memory of the death of his parents. The pain and fear he felt yesterday hit him like a truck and brought him to his knees with tears in his eyes. I'm sorry that I couldn't be any help to you in your time of need. Don't say that drag, because of you I was able to get one good satisfying hit in on that bastard. Issei says while wiping his tears. I assure you boy they are in a better place, but there is no time to mourn as you must get a move on if you want to get stronger. Make your parents proud, succeed in your dreams, and take your place in the annals of history. Yeah, he needed to get stronger and fast. If all this supernatural stuff is real then who knows when he will run into one again. And if he is weak how can he avenge his parents if he is having struggles doing simple push-ups. So let's get started shall we? Time skip. Ugh finally pant finally pant I'm back home. Issei has just finished his run and has returned home. He was sweating but he couldn't complain. How could he when he saw some female runners bounce with each step? For a perv like him this was the best part of the day, and he also didn't mind the way girls were looking at him either. It's been three weeks since Issei has been constantly working out. His physique has changed quite a bit now he isn't some scrawny kid anymore. He is now a confident 6'2", and has gained some muscle mass that made the girls stop and stare. Quest Preparation Day completed. Choose your rewards. Reward number 1. Status recovery. Reward number 2. 10 stat points. Accept status recovery. And just like that all his fatigue he felt was gone like it wasn't even there. Accept stat points. He then decided to put 4 into strength, 2 into defense, 2 into intelligence, 1 into agility, and 1 into stamina. He figured he wanted to boost his strength and defense first before other things. Partner don't you think it is time for you to start working on my power. You have gained a lot of strength and stamina naturally during the last couple of weeks without increasing your stats. It is about time you start working on controlling my power. I agree and tomorrow you are going to explore your first dungeon. 
Until then get some rest and early in the morning I'll teleport you to the location so you can enter it. The say is say was excited was an understatement. He would be jumping up and down if he didn't want to look stupid to anyone passing by. He knew this would be his second technical experience with the supernatural world and he was kind of scared. Who knows what he is going to face, definitely won't be goblins. But determination in his mind is say decided to head on to bed so he can wake up early and really get started on his adventure. The next day, Issei stood in the middle of a forest, the early morning breeze ending a shiver up his spine. Where are we? He said out loud. You are near the base of the Tatra Mountains in Poland, turn around and start walking, and you will find a cave, and at the entrance of the cave is the dungeon. Issei started his trek through the forest, and it wasn't long until he was at the base of the mountain by a river bank. From there he kept walking until he found a cave. The grass that led to it was dead, and the surrounding air was slowly getting heavier the closer he got to it. Issei also noticed that the rocky floor he stood on was cracked. Is this the cave you were talking about? Yes this is the entrance but pay attention. Do you notice anything strange about it? Now that Issei has taken a good look at it, he does notice something about the entrance of the cave. At the mouth of it there is a perpendicular line, in fact it looked like the mouth of the cave was a drawing, and somebody had put a tear in it, and from that torn there was a soft white glowing light, with the same color spark spitting out from it. That is the entrance of the dungeon. You see Issei, the only way for you to train and get stronger is to kill beings stronger than you. The problem is the only beings in this world that are stronger than you are the supernatural, and you can't square off against them yet. Besides, we are trying to keep a low profile, remember? And unfortunately you aren't close to ready for me to send you to hell and kill all the devils there, so the only alternative is to send you to another place, specifically another reality. Have you heard of parallel and alternative universes? Well they exist, and they all stemmed from the creation of the universe we are in now. In another reality your parents are still alive, in another reality a fallen angel will ask you the most stupid question. Would you die for me? Before killing you? In this other weird reality thir. Wait, what was that last one? Don't worry about it, anyway the only thing you should remember is that I'm sending you to another dimension reality, and this reality could be very different depending on the location and set conditions. For example, we are in the wilderness, so expect a beast-type monster in this dungeon, but keep in mind that this won't be the case every time as the possibilities are truly endless. And to keep your worries to non-existent levels, the type of dungeons you'll encounter will never be a parallel universe, so you won't have to worry about meeting yourself or a loved one, as it will always be an alternate universe, and not a parallel one. Ah I understand now Suo how do I enter it? In order to enter a dungeon you must call upon both your sacred gears and rip it open, so the link between this reality and the alternate one is made. Once you have done that then walk inside to officially enter the dungeon. Keep in mind as even though this is the common way, special dungeons will require a key, and in order to get a key, you will need to defeat a specific boss or do a specific task. After that the key will be acquired, like a reward if you will, and you will be able to enter that specific dungeon at a set location. There are more details, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's not ponder any longer and proceed forwards, right? Issy called both his sacred gears and proceeded to rip the tear of reality. It wasn't as hard as he thought, with a little power the connection was made with ease as the tear expanded to the point where he could walk in. Interestingly enough, when he looked inside the cave entrance was exactly the same, like the gate wasn't there at all. Are you ready kid? This is going to be your second time you will encounter something that won't be normal to you, but this time you will be actually fighting. Be prepared for anything. Okay then let's go. This is Issei's real beginning of his journey to accomplish his dreams, make a huge name for himself, and take the supernatural world by storm. Issei's Pav, this is it, there is no going back now. This is my start to a new life, I can't wait to be a king. No, not just a king, a monarch. Issei took a step inside the cave and looked around to see it was dark like he expected. This of course made things very difficult. I can't see a thing, how am I going to fight monsters if I can't even see my own hand? I got you covered, you have learned the skill. Night vision. Night vision. Be able to see in low light. Will automatically be turned on in low light, can be disabled. Passively increases your sense stat by 20 in low light. Decreases your sense stat if used in broad daylight. You will be temporarily blinded and disoriented if you look at a light that is bright enough in a dark place. Instantly he was able to see everything around him. He looked at his hands and feet before looking at the cave walls. He looked into the darkness of the cave and got an eerily feeling, but he deduced that it was his uneasiness. The Red Dragon Emperor trekked along for a couple of minutes with nothing interesting happening. Just rock, rock, and more rock. Man can something interesting happen already. Like come on off. Issy had luckily caught himself as he tripped over something. He looked down and picked up what he thought was a long rock, but turned out it was a bone. He didn't know what type of bone it was or who it belonged to, but he did know that those bite marks must have come from someone, and it definitely wasn't him. 
continuing on he started to find more and more bones. He didn't pay attention to them until he found a skeleton that was much bigger than the other bones he came across. He didn't know what the animal was until he saw its head then it became obvious. What other animal that big has a horn like that? A rhino but what is a rhino doing in Europe? Issei didn't know a lot about animals, but he at least knew the basics. He pondered for a moment until he all became clear. That is a woolly rhino isn't it? You're right about that, welcome to the ice age, where every mammal you know is on steroids. It looks like the severe weather and animals stalled humans from migrating into Europe while at the same time killing the Neanderthals. This prolonged the lives of animals that would be extinct by thousands of years. Crap he thought while continuing walking on. I knew this was going to be hard, but I'm going to be fighting a literal beast. Growl. That ain't good. Dodge. Issei dived to his side, narrowly missing the animal that tried to tear his throat out. Issei performed a handstand and bounced off the wall and landed back on his feet. I guess my strength and agility is paying off. He then got a good look at what attacked him. Turns out it was a wolf, a giant wolf at that, it slowly stalked towards Issei while baring its teeth. Observe. Pave wolf. HP. 500 500 MP. 0. STR. 20. STA. 50. F. 15. Agle. 35. Int. 5. Sent 20. Side note. It can bite. Damn it, how am I supposed to kill that? Issei said while the wolf looked like it was going to attack. Pick him or something, I don't know. As the wolf lunged at Issei, he jumped and used all his strength to connect his left foot to the wolf's jaw, shattering it and sending it to the roof of the cave where its head got crushed. The wolf fell to the ground and with a final whimper died. You leveled up. GG Nori. I leveled up. Let me check my stats then. Name. Issei Hyodo. Level. 2. Ass of Titles. Red Dragon Emperor Op I Love 42069. Current title. HP. 520 520ths. MP. 120 120ths. STR. 16. Sta. 18. F. 14. Agle. 15. Int. 13. Sen. 7. Fatigue 1. Current skills. Boost. Observe. Night vision. Auto update. On. It looks like my stats go up by 2, plus my MP and HP by 20, every time a level up. Neat. Howl. GRR. Arc. From the darkness of the cave seven more wolves approached looking pretty pissed that a member just got killed. Looks like the pack is here, well some of them at least. Um okay this is a bit too much so can I have a weapon? Oh yeah I forgot to give you one. Take this random sword I found on Google. A sudden flash of light threw Issei off for a few until he felt something heavy in his hand. He had to grab the hilt with both hands, as the sudden weight almost made him drop it. In his hand was a typical Japanese katana. Observe, katana, obtained after a Google search. The MG. 100. Durability. 50. Side note. It's a sword. Okay better than nothing. Issei let out a war cry as he charged into the group of wolves. Three minutes later, pant pant, you leveled up, 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 you leveled up. Issei stood victorious as his blade dripped blood from the wolves whose bodies were thrown about on the ground. Man that was tough, so can I leave now? No, no, relatively you are still in the beginning. Keep going you are doing great. Issei continued on in relative peace. He had his guard up ready to strike another wolf down, but hasn't so far, and that only made him raise his guard more. He kept going for a couple of minutes until he found the body of a wolf that looked like it was recently killed. It was missing a leg, and another limb was hanging loosely from its body. He kept going until one turned to two, then three, then four, and so on. The body soon turned to over two dozen dead wolves. One large one, that looked like the leader, had its intestines spilled across the floor. What killed all those wolves? Was there some kind of scuffle between them? This looks more like a territorial clash than inner conflict to me. Yep. Laughter. Tuckle. Ami. Anyone could identify that iconic laughter. Then figures emerge from the shadows. Observe. Pave Hyena. HP. 850 850th. MP. 0. STR. 30. Sta. 60. F. 25. Agle. 20. Int. 3. Sent 16. Side note. It can bite even harder. Oh I'm sure they can. Issei mumbled. Well let's get this show on the road. One charge to say, and he responded by shoving his blade into its heart, killing it instantly. You have learned the skill. Vital strike. Deal critical damage as you attack your foe's vital areas. Then more hyenas joined the fray. They all rushed hoping to use numbers to subdue their prey. Issei raised his sword, his eyes burned with confidence and a slight tinge of green. Let's start mopping up then. The next few minutes were filled with blood and guts, as Issei ferociously slaughtered all the enemies in front of him. You leveled up, you leveled up, you leveled up, you leveled up, you leveled up. 20 minutes later, Issei has been traversing this cave for seemingly hours. He honestly thought he was lost until he stumbled down a sudden drop-off. He rolled to a stop and quickly got up to check his surroundings. 
It was a wide open space which was filled with bones, so he assumed that this was their den. He was going to keep admiring the sheer amount of bones he saw until he heard a deep growl. He slowly turned around just to see a hyena that was taller than he was. That must be the boss. Issei deduced. It was guarded by four other hyenas that were seemingly more buff than normal ones. Observe, hyena guard, HP. 959 150th, MP. 0, STR. 40, STA. 60, F. 30, Agle. 30, Int. 5, Cent 12, Side note. I ran out of bite jokes. Issei decided to ignore that last part and moved on to the boss. Hyena Queen, HP. 1200 1200, MP. 0, STR. 50, STA. 80, F. 40, Agle. 40, Int. 5, Cent 25, Side note. The boss in case you didn't know. While Issey was distracted looking at the jab by the system, one quickly rushed him and caught him by surprise. Issei was shocked that something that bulky moved so quickly. He didn't have time to think of anything else, as the hyena managed to sink his teeth into his left arm. The RRRGHSA decided to do a bold move. When the hyena let go and opened its mouth for another bite, he slithered his hand into its mouth and got a firm hold on the lower jaw, then proceeded to rip it off, throwing it across the room. The hyena guard stood still for a moment before dropping on the ground dead, blood gushing from its face. This he grabbed his arm and winced in pain dam that took a solid 200 HP. You have earned the title. Hunter, the title given to a true hunter. Minus 40% damage increase against beast animal type enemies. How very fitting I guess. Issei thought. The other three guards were advancing on him. He held his sword up ready to fight. Okay bring it on you basta. He suddenly dropped his sword as immense fear had overtaken him causing him to drop to his knees. He looked over at the queen. Her eyes were glowing blood red. A snarl which could be called a smirk in animal terms covered her mouth. The hyena queen has used a skill. Bloodlust. All stats have decreased by 50%. Clever skill indeed, but don't forget that I'm here. You have learned the skill. Will to rehabilitate. The skill is passive and permanent. Any dismembered body parts will be restored. All diseases, poisons, and status effects will be healed. Sleeping will explosively increase your regeneration ability. A skill. Will to rehabilitate. Has been activated. The enemy skill. Bloodlust. Has been deactivated. All stats are back to normal. The hyena queen looked at issue in surprise. Barking an order, the last three guards rushed Issy as the first one jumped at him. Switch title to Hunter. YN, yes. Issei bought his katana to stab the eye of the first guard. He felt the blade go through its eye and into its brain. A skill. Vital strike. Has been activated. You leveled up. You leveled up. You leveled up. Not waiting for the guard to hit the ground he pulled his sword out and shoved it into the of the next guard, it instantly coughed blood and died. A skill. Vital strike has been activated, you leveled up, you leveled up, you leveled up, continuing on Issy moved on to the last guard and sliced horizontally, cutting the hyena in half, a skill, vital strike, has been activated, you leveled up, you leveled up, you leveled up, you have learned the skill, sword master, you know how to swing a sword, big whoop wanna fight about it, sword only, minus 20% DMG increase, Issei clicked his tongue in annoyance at the system, he charged with the intention to finish the boss in one hit, he jumped aiming to plunge his sword into its heart, so you can tell how surprised he was when the queen blocked his strike with her paw. His blade went straight through it and came out on the other end, so he was hanging awkwardly in the air. He wiggled a little hoping to get some kind of reaction out of the beast but, the hyena queen does not feel pain. Well ain't this just a sack of dot the hyena queen threw a say at a wall, causing him to hit his head and get a little disoriented. The queen slowly stalked towards him, he thought of a plan. Well if it is fast enough to block my strikes and does not feel any pain, then there is no need to try to stab or slash her. Looks like I need to use all of my strength here. As the hyena queen prepared to take a bite out of him, he lunged at her before jumping on top of her and grabbed her head. The queen bucked like a raging bull and smashed herself against a cave wall in an attempt to get a say off her, but it was all in vain as he held on. Eventually he made it to her head and wrapped his arm's whole body around her and with all his might the head. He could feel the bones in the jaw breaking, and he was pressing hard against her skull. With a final attempt he worked even harder. Crack plop smack, as he felt blood and brain matter dampen his clothes as the body of the boss had fallen over. You leveled up, 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 congratulations. You have defeated your first boss. For completing your first dungeon your MP and HP will increase by 100. For killing the boss, all your stats go up by 10. For killing all the enemies in the dungeon, you have 20 spare stat points at your disposal. Issei slid down the dead body, blood and little bits of brain were on his dot. I'll save those points for later. He was going to get up, but then he noticed something under the body. He picked it up and he found what looked like a rock, he then got a message. You have acquired the rune. Bloodlust. 
break it to acquire the skill. With his strength he easily crushed it and it vaporized in the air. You have earned the skill. Bloodlust. It scares the shit out of people. Your target's stats will decrease by 50%. Will not work if your target's stats are too high compared to yours. Isay leaned back as the hologram faded away. I finally panted a pant man that was tough. Great job partner you did good for your first real fight. I am impressed I must say. But I don't mean to get you down. But a low class devil could have easily blown through this. So take this victory with a lesson that you still have a long way to go. The boss has been defeated and the dungeon will now close. Well, time to go home, Issei said before being devoured by a bright light. Opening his eyes to see that he was in his yard, he quickly ran into his house, as he didn't want anyone to see him in bloody clothes. Throwing his bloody clothes into a trash bag because they were torn enough that it wouldn't make sense to wear them again. With exhaustion slowly taking over him, he threw the bloody bag in a corner, he'll deal with it later. He took off the remainder of his clothes and took a shower getting all the blood and sweat off of him. He was glad to see that the wounds he sustained had all but disappeared, not even a scar left behind. He also noticed that he didn't have any acne or any other facial or body annoyances that a regular person deals with every day. After he finished showering and dried off he hopped into bed, letting sleep take him. Tomorrow is another day. I'm skipped to tomorrow, so we're going again. Issei said after taking a sip of coffee. Yes, since you are making gains there is no need to stop your momentum, so get ready to be teleported. Finishing his cup and putting it in the sink a bright light in case to say as he found himself in a dark alley. At the end he could see cars and noticeably pickup trucks zoom by. Where am I? San Francisco in the good all USA. No time for loitering or people might get suspicious. The gate for the dungeon is at the entrance of the alley and be careful not to step into any shit. This place kind of have a serious problem with that. Highly noted. Issy walked and made sure to check what was on the ground with each step. Now at the entrance of the alley he could see cars pass and people walking on the sidewalk going about their daily lives. Trying not to stick around any longer, he quickly activated both of his sacred gears and ripped the tear to open the gate. Crossing over he noticed he was in the middle of a street as opposed to an alley. He looked around and saw a post-apocalyptic world. Cars overturned, buildings abandoned, streets are empty, and not another human in sight. Walking in the sidewalk to avoid the open street he walked past some empty stores and turned over cars. What the hell happened here? He said in a wondering tone. This is starting to creep me out. He walked past a car and he took his time to look inside. The windows were cracked and the dashboard was covered in blood. The steering wheel had claw marks and the cup holders were leaking a mixture of what looked like blood and grape soda. Creak. He heard a sound in the back seat. Wah. Oof. This he threw himself back to dodge a body that lunged at him. It appeared to be human until the rotten flesh gave away exactly what it was. Zombie, HP. 300 three hundredths, MP. 0, STR. 25, STA. 10, F. 5, AGLE. 15, INT. 0, SENT 13, SIDE NOTE. Brayance. Wasting no time Issei called his sword and did what anyone would do in Hollywood and sliced the zombie's head off. He heard more noise and saw a horde of zombies coming his way. He stood his ground and hacked away at the zombies. You leveled up, you leveled up, you leveled up, how many have he killed so far? 20. 30. He wasn't keeping count, all he cared about was surviving. Keeping a steady flow was easy, since the zombies were dumb it was easy to kill them. He was doing fine until. Warning. Your sword has reached the end of its durability. Any more and your sword will break, and it was true because with one last swing the sword shattered leaving Issy defenseless. Crap what now? He still had a massive heart in front of him. One zombie tried to take a bite out of Issy, but its teeth shattered when Issei used entropy to block the attack. Concentrate and manifest my energy into something. Anything. Drag said urgently. Can you stop this zombie from gumming me? It's disgusting, entropy requested lazily. Issy punched the zombie off him using his boosted gear, but had no spare time to concentrate as he was slowly getting surrounded by zombies. If only I had a grenade to clear these guys out all at once. But how can I concentrate in these conditions? Explosion, 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 explosion. Who did he know the power to create an explosion? Bing Deku? Huh? Issy quickly turned his gaze to what looked like an anime convention store. The TV was still and tuned in a show that he quickly recognized was playing. He watched as a blonde teen bought his hand up. Die. And a massive explosion rang throughout the area. Bakugu huh? Issei turned to the horde in front of him and lifted his left hand up. He in a hurry, poorly manifested the energy into his hand as it turned green. Die. Issy screamed as a massive explosion engulfed the area and sent him flying back a few feet and into the ground. He quickly got up and looked at his work. The street and sidewalk from where he stood to 12 meters away was ripped up, the building's windows shattered with one collapsing, and light poles uprooted and thrown in the air like a leaf. Body parts from the zombies were everywhere, some were so burned you almost couldn't recognize it. 
This he felt a little drained and decided to catch his breath until a prompt came up. You have learned the skill. Explosion, uncontrolled. Like your Bakugou, turn their souls to smoke. Unleash an explosion from the boosted gear that can cause 6000 damage, cost 100 MP. Until you have mastered the skill it will cost more MP than it should, as there is no set power output. And I can't believe I've gained no experience from killing all of them, is their experience that low? Issei decided to check his stats since he hasn't checked them since yesterday. Name? Issei Hyoto. Level. 30. Passive Titles. Red Dragon Emperor, O-P-P-A-I-L-O-V-E-R-42069, Hunter, Current Title, Hunter, HP, 1181180, MP, 586080, STR, 72, STA, 74, F, 70, Agle, 71, Int, 69, Sen, 63, Fatigue, 38, Extra Stat Points, 20, Current Skills, Boost, Observe, Night Vision, Vital Strike, Will to Rehabilitate, Swordmaster, Bloodlust, Explosion, Auto Update. Um, no wonder I feel drained, I'll only use that skill during emergencies then. Issei looked down the street to see another horde that was attracted by the explosion. How am I supposed to deal with them without a weapon? You have your sacred gears so use them. Just because you don't have a weapon doesn't mean you are defenseless. Use your fist and claws to teach you some close quarters combat. Also relying on weapons alone will be your downfall, one of my previous hosts was an excellent swordmaster, but when he was disarmed, he met his demise. Don't follow the same fate. Well he's right about that I don't need to rely on a sword too much. Issei bought both of his fists up and prepared for a scuffle. Let's see how many of you I can kill before I level up. When the zombies got close enough Issei went wild. Punch 1, punch 2, slash 3. He repeated until he got 10 kills. You leveled up, you have learned the skill. Brawler. Damage from punches and slashes are increased by 40%. Works passively but is automatically turned off when you hold a weapon. Okay so 10 zombies will make me level up once. He then killed 20. You leveled up. And 30. You leveled up. 30 turned to 40. You leveled up. 40 turned to 60. You leveled up. You leveled up. 60 to 80. You leveled up. You leveled up. 80 to 90. You leveled up. 90 to 99. And with one last slash of entropy he killed his 100th zombie. You leveled up. You have earned the title. Grim Reaper is only effective when fighting set enemies. Undead, necromancers, and supernaturals that specializes or holds a title of power over the dead. Minus 70% damage increase against set enemies. Damage taken will be decreased by 50%. Switch title to Grim Reaper. YN. Ega before Issy could finish something wrapped around his neck and yanked him in the air in a completely different direction. He used his strength to try to break free, but the tentacle was wrapped around him tight. With one of his claws he managed to free his face and looked at who was dragging him. On top of a building he saw a tall man, his skin was covered in growths which spurted out green smoke that surrounded him. The left side of his face is bloated and it looks like there is a large tumor on it. Observe, Smoker, HP. 2000 thousandths, MP. 0, STR. 80, STA. 40, F. 20, Agle. 50, Int. 15, Sen. 35, Side note. Will attempt to choke you if they can't pull you in. With his boosted gear he managed to sink his claws into a building that passed by. Okay guys I got a plan. I'm going to run as fast as I can and then jump so he can yank me. I know what you're thinking. It's risky, but I'm interested in the power also. Go for it, I'll give you boost. Okay let's do this. Issei started running as fast as he could against the power of the smoker. You have learned the skill. Sprint. Minus 40% increase to your agility stat. He gained a lot of ground, he was choking a little from the pull of the smoker. When he got far enough he jumped into the air and let the smoker pull him in. While he was getting reeled in he used explosion to propel himself to the zombie faster. When he got close enough he pointed his boosted gear to the ground and used another explosion to send him up in the air above the smoker. Idle change. Grim Reaper. He looked down at the smoker and smirked. Explosion. To say the explosion was big was an understatement. The whole block was leveled to the ground, and any zombie caught in it was reduced to ashes. You leveled up, 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 an exhausted essay face planted on the ground. Ow, congratulations. Multiple of your stats has gotten over 100. Because your intelligence has surpassed 100, your MP will be restored and will increase by 300 as air ward. All other stats will increase by 20. As a boost your lowest stat will be boosted by 50 points knowing you, you will need it. See you at 10,000 and 0 b Cool I guess. Issei said in a groggy voice. Take a quick nap. We'll wake you up if something happens. Already on it. He mumbled as he closed his eyes. 20 minutes later, wake up Mr. Hyoto, 5 minutes later, wakey wakey, 10 minutes, look. 
Two hot succubuses are making out in the middle of the street where everyone can see them. Where? You fool. You fell victim to one of the classic blunders. I've been tricked, I've been backstabbed, and I've been quite possibly bambazzled. I hate you both. Anyway, I've sensed a powerful zombie charging down the street and is getting ready to ram you any second now. Blah. Crash. Something slammed into his say and sent him flying into a building. I told you to wake up. Ugh observe. Charger. HP. 4000 4000 MP. 0. STR. 130. Sta. 80. F. 20. Aggle. 50. Int. 10. Sen. 15. Side note. Pretty dumb but strong head on. Try to flank it or cause AOE damage. Watch out, it's actually pretty speedy when close and can cause significant head damage. Specifically the brain as it will be crushed and in case you didn't know if your brain is crushed you will die. But you are too dumb to know that right. You're at full HP and MPBTW, this system could go itself. AOE damage huh? Fine, since you and the system pissed me off you will be my next victim with his arms and legs blown off. Look at you, you're an ugly bastard anyway. It had hairless skin that is a deep greenish gray in color. It wore bloodstained denim overalls with one broken strap and a green sneaker on his right foot. The most noticeable thing though was the giant arm that looked rough, almost like rock. Well it doesn't matter how ugly you are, explosion. Uam, you have leveled up, you have leveled up, how do you like that huh? You know explosions attract more zombies right? This he turned to see a small horde slowly making their way to him. Crap okay I'll just deal with this horde then who is that abomination of a woman? The tall woman with an ugly face, a gaping mouth, and by entropy disgusting green bloated undead saggy dot are not supposed to sag like that. Is that a maggot crawling out of the ah I've been traumatized what the? You have lost the title. O-P-P-A-I-L-O-V-E-R-42069. Rest in pepperoni M8. Can you kill her already? She is disgusting to look at. Don't even use observe on her I don't even want to know what that is. Is he charged at the mob full speed with the intent to kill? I died I died I died I died I died I Explosion. You have leveled up. You have leveled up. You have leveled up. P.S. I also vomited while looking at that zombie and as a thanks for not making me observe it, here is a 3000 HP boost. Thank you. I am mad, I am confused, and I am disgusted. Let me just check my stats, beat this boss, go home, take a cold shower, and reevaluate my life. Name. Issei Hyodo. Level. 52. Passive titles. Red Dragon Emperor, Hunter, Grim Reaper, Current Title, Grim Reaper, HP, 4,624,620, 4, MP, 1,221,420, 1, Blaze It, STR, 136, Sta, 138, F, 134, Agle, 135, Int, 133, Sen, 177, Fatigue, 38, Extra Stat Points, 20, Current Skills, Boost, Observe, Night Vision, Vital Strike, Will to Rehabilitate, Sword Master, Bloodlust, Explosion, Brawler, Sprint, Auto Update, On, How Much More? Then his ears twitched, weird what the sense stat can do. Let's see, a huge horde is coming. And I mean huge, I guess that is what explosions do. I hear some more of those smokers and chargers, but I hear a lot of thumping and jumping though what other freak is coming my way. He homed in his hearing, getting all the information he needed to single out each zombie. 40 smokers, 60 chargers, over 500 regular zombies, 200 of those things that are jumping, 150 fat guys their panting is making it obvious, and well over 50 big guys, I don't know exactly what those jumpers and big guys are, but let's find out. I also hear someone crying that is trailing them, I wonder what that is about. Over the horizon he saw zombies charging at him, his eyes glowing green as he smirked. Let's get rid of these regular guys shall we? He started to charge a huge explosion and held his breath as he waited for the right moment. Now, boom, you have leveled up x50, well there goes the annoying cannon fodder now let's deal with the special guys. He looked and saw zombies he had never seen before. One had a hoodie and the other had abnormal upper body muscles. Observe, jockey, hp, 2000 2000, mp, 0, str, 200, sta, 50, f, 10, agle, 70, int, 5, sen, 5, side note, they will try to jump on your head and lead you towards other zombies. They look like they're humping you, but I can assure you, they are not. They have a lot of stamina to ride you so kill them before they mount you. It ain't right for a man to be ridden like that. Hunter, HP. 3100 3100, MP. 0, STR. 250, STA. 70, F. 15, Agle. 70, Int. 10, Sen. 5, Side note. They like to jump. Don't let them. The hunter screeched out and in unison the jockeys and hunters attacked. A skill. Brawler. 
has been activated. What ensued after could be defined by nothing else but a slaughter. Five minutes later, you have leveled up. X30. Entropy and Drag watched proudly as Issy repped and teared. You know he already has the power of a low-class devil. It's amazing that it has literally been two days. And our adventure has only started, but I'm fearing that because of his human body, he will reach a limit. You know what I'm thinking we should do to him. Ergonification. Risky but the rewards will be huge. Of course, it would be risky on a normal basis, but since I'm here it will be a guaranteed success you know after the process is done, he won't be able to hide anymore right? It's a gamble I'm willing to take. If the supernatural world notices him for a trait of power then so be it, he will soon have the power to discourage any fool that dares to trifle with us anyway. But let's not do it in the near future, but later on when the time is right. I know exactly when the perfect time will be. You can count on me Drake. I'm sure I can. Big guys are coming. Issy turned to see a fat guy and a beefy guy charging down the street. Boomer. HP. 400 400 MP. 0. STR. 5. STA. 10. F. 0. Agle. 15. Int. 0. Sen. 1. Side note. They go boom and attract zombies. Luckily for you this is the last batch of zombies in this dungeon. Tank. HP. 10,000 10,000 MP. 0. STR. 500. STA. 120. F. 300. Agle. 40. Int. 5. Sen. 5. Side note. Very strong but weak versus fire. They're also dumb and sluggish when it comes to quick maneuvers. Higher. Okay Entropy I need to upgrade my explosion and brawler skill. Anything that is in range of your own capabilities so what do you need? Hmm, I just read your mind and you are capable of withstanding the upgrades. A skill. Explosion. Just got an upgrade. You have mastered the art blowing shit up. Base explosion damage has gone up by 4000. Higher has now been added for 2000 extra damage and 50 damage per second after that. Updating skill entry update has finished. Explosion. Like your Bakugou, turn their soul to smoking. Unleash an explosion from the boosted gear that can cause 10,000 damage. Higher will cause 2,000 extra damage and 50 damage per second after that. Cost 50 MP. Will increase according to stats. A skill brawler. Just got an upgrade. Upgraded from 40% to 50%. Your hands will now be covered in fire, causing 200 extra and 20 damage per second after that. Higher can be disabled at any time. Updating skill entry update has finished. Brawler. Damage from punches and slashes are increased by 50%. Your hands will now be covered in fire, causing 200 extra and 20 damage per second after that. Higher can be disabled at any time. Works passively but is automatically turned off if you hold a weapon. Will increase according to stats. I want to go home. Issy was in a you and die mode, so he was constantly spamming his explosion attack until the area was leveled and zombies were killed. You have leveled up x40 now where is the boss he heard the crying again and saw a lone figure it was a woman that he heard crying before if she is the boss then she must be very strong this boss fight will surely be epic and well written dot boom 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 never mind issy just blew her up good i got lazy anyway you have leveled up 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 for killing all the enemies in the dungeon you have 20 spare stat points at your disposal the boss has been defeated and the dungeon will now close thus teleport me home i'm done for today 20 minutes later is he laid on his beds getting ready to take a well-deserved rest i will let you rest and gather your thoughts for the next couple of days before you go on to fight in more dungeons the dragon told the sleepy boy I don't know how strong I am against other supernatural beings, but I do know that I need to get stronger. Issy thought as he closed his eyes. Yeah, that is what the world needs. A strong Issei Hyodo. Thanks for watching this video. If you really enjoy this video. Like subscribe and comment down below and turn on that bell notification. See you in the next video. Goodbye.